Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make asteroids in under 10 minutes in Quantic 3. So, let's get started. Before we get started, I would like to thank all of you for 300 subscribers. It's really happy to see that uh, my videos are actually seem to be helping people and uh, that's awesome. So, thank you all. So first what you have to do is right click, insert new object and search for a keyboard. So as you can see we have keyboard here and that will be our plugins. Now we'll be right clicking, inserting a new object and this will be our sprite. You will uh, name this uh, player or ship. I'll just name the ship and double click and press enter. Since this will be our player, I'll be uh, pasting this player sprite in. You can make this in under like 5 or 6 seconds because it's quite easy to do. Now that we have this, we'll click on our layer 0, uh, set our background color to pure black, and now we have this. Now if we press F5, as you can see, we have our player right here. Now you'll be pressing on the player, adding a behavior, and searching for custom. This will be our custom movement, uh, which will be used to add movement. Now what we'll do is go into your event sheet, add an event, search for keyboard, and on key down, and W. Now add action, go to your ship and search for accelerate and then you'll be accelerating towards a angle. So the acceleration can be anything you really want. Uh, I'll be doing a thousand into DT but I might change it uh, if I see uh, it's quite slow. And the angle will be self.angle. Now to actually alter the angle, what we'll be doing is uh, adding a new event, keyboard, and searching for on key is down, first uh, A, and then control C, control D, V, and D. Now for A, we'll be adding an action, going to your ship, and uh, 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 rotating uh, counterclockwise, minus 35 into DT. Uh, you can uh, have this number at whatever you want. Uh, I'm just guessing here. I did uh, change some numbers, and now if you press F5, as you can see, we are moving up, uh, moving and changing our angles, and accelerating towards the angle. Now, what I'm going to do is add screen wrapping. And that's actually quite easy. What I'm going to do is press on the player, go to my behaviors, add a new behavior, and search for wrap. Now with this, now we'll be adding our bullet, so right click, insert new object, and search for sprite. Search for bullet, uh, search for sprite, and enter in bullet, and press enter. Now what we're doing is setting a color, so I'm just going to make a white square. Escape, and set it to a desirable size. I think uh, this looks alright, maybe a bit uh, smaller. And I'm going to put this uh, on the edge of our uh, screen. We simply need to go to behaviors, add a new behavior, and search for bullet. Escaping and setting the speed to something like 800. Or let's do 1000. Now we just need to spawn a bullet whenever you press space. So event, keyboard, on key pressed, space, add action, ship, spawn another object and our bullet what i'll also be doing is going into our ship uh, adding a new image point and setting it uh, on the tip of our spaceship now where we are spawning i'll set the image point to one and this will make the bullet spawn at the tip uh, rather than the origin so now if i press play and shoot as you can see we are shooting what I'll also do is go back and uh, change my origin point to something here so that it looks a bit uh, more natural and press escape. Now time to add our asteroids so we'll be right clicking, inserting new object, searching for sprite and this will be our asteroids. Press enter and click. As you can see I have three images. Uh, this is for the big, medium and small. For The size for this is 64 by 64. 16, 32 by 32 and 16 by 16. Now I'll be pressing escape and uh, this is our asteroid. Now what I'll be doing is right clicking, inserting new object and searching for sprite. This will be the main body of our asteroids which will not be shown in the real game. So I'm just going to write asteroids underscore main and pressing enter. This can be uh, as I said any color you want because it won't be showing. 
So I'll be filling that in, reducing the size to anything because again it doesn't matter and placing it here just for uh, showing you. And now this will be the main body of our asteroid. What I'll be doing is adding a new behavior, searching for bullet first and then adding a new behavior, searching for wrap. These will be the two behaviors we need. Now what I'll be doing is going into my event sheet, adding a new event and uh, on, uh, on start of new layout in system, right click, add a blank event, sub event sorry, and then search for 4 and then ending uh, the end index will be random and uh, let's do 7 to 10. Now what we need to do is add action, create an object. This will be our asteroid's main and the position will be random, viewport width and uh, just give the layer of your viewport so for in our case it's zero and then uh, viewport height and then zero the same thing. Now what you need to do is add action, go to your asteroid's main and setting so we need to search for set angle and then uh, random 0 to uh, 2 360 and press enter we'll do the same with our speed so uh, we'll go off uh, go in here and set speed to random uh, let's do uh, 50 to 75 now if I press F5 we'll see we have these asteroids uh, moving about now that we have this, we just need to come here, add another action, uh, and go to your asteroids main, spawn another object, and spawn your asteroids. Now add an event, go to every tick in system, add an action, asteroids, set position to an object, and then your object will be asteroids main. If you press F5, as you can see, now to add the rotation, we'll be adding an action, asteroids, setting your angle to self, dot angle, plus, uh, let's do 10 times delta time, press F5, the uh, that's a bit slow, so I'll set it to 20, let's see, yep, that looks alright, now go to your layout, your asteroids, and scroll down and set initially visible to be false. Now you just have these asteroids floating about in space. Now to add the collision, we'll be going to event sheet 1, adding an event, going to bullet and searching for on collision with another object. This will be your asteroids since their collision box uh, meets the collision box of the ast actual asteroid sprite. And uh, we'll be right clicking, adding a new event blank sub event and just comparing that later I'll just leave that empty for now uh, in the action what you need to do is asteroids main destroy and the same for uh, these asteroids uh, which we will do now so asteroids destroy now if you uh, notice if we press F5 this will destroy uh, each like all the asteroid main sprites and they will stop moving to fix that, it's quite simple, just add another action, go to your asteroids, and uh, choose, um, sorry, we need to search for pick, pick uh, nearest or furthest, and for us it will be nearest, so it will be asteroids.x, and asteroids, uh, sorry, asteroids.y. Now that we have this, if we press F5, you'll see that if we uh, shoot an, ob uh, an object, uh, all of them stop. So to fix that, uh, we need to right click, uh, right click here, add a black sub event. To fix that, we need to right click, add another condition. And this condition will be system pick over pick overlapping point and the object we'll be picking is asteroids main and the uh, the uh, coordinates to check is asteroids.x 
and a asteroids don't worry. Now if I press F5 and shoot an asteroid, uh, let's see, as you can see, only that one is gone. What I'll also do here is destroy our bullet uh, so that it does not in, uh, interfere with other asteroids. Now in our blank uh, sub event we made, we need to check for asteroids and uh, see if we are playing an animation. So for our biggest one, we'll be checking if we're playing big, then medium, so medium, and then small. What we need to do for big is add action, destroy our uh, main, th uh, actually uh, we have already destroyed that. What we need to do is spawn this, so asteroids, spawn another object, asteroids main, and we'll be doing that twice, because uh, if you've played the game it spawns it twice, and we'll be doing uh, the same thing with our asteroids main, spawning another object here. And this uh, will be our asteroids, and this will be doing twice. So we can actually put this here, because it will do the same thing. So as you can see, we have done this. Now we'll be setting our bullet speed to random here, and doing that twice. And uh, setting our angle to something random too. So here, and setting angle twice. So now that we have this, what we need to do here is for a big go to your asteroids set animation here and then setting animation to medium for a small for medium sorry we need to set our animation to small here and if we are playing the small we just need to destroy everything so in that case we'll be just do destroying uh, these two things so actually it will be just better to put these two things here to avoid any complications here now I will say this is not the cleanest code but it's, it is the fastest code so if you do want to improve your code uh, that's another thing but this is not about uh, be the code being clean now if, if we are playing the animation small we just need to destroy these things so come here and destroy and if I shoot this, uh, if I can shoot them, as you can see, it gets destroyed. So that's the basic me uh, basic mechanics of asteroids. Obviously, you can improve on this and add other things uh, like menus, sound effects, and particles. But this is the main uh, gist of how you can make asteroids in under 10 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Bye!